alone and injured. Leopards get injured while hunting and what happens after. The savanna grasslands cover almost half of the sub-Saharan continent of Africa. On scorching hot days only hungry predators go hunting. Despite being much smaller than a lion or tiger, the leopard is Africa's most successful feline animal. While other species of predators are in danger of extinction, the leopard here is thriving. Leopards are carnivores that prefer to live alone and only live in pairs during mating season. The leopard is a carnivorous animal that can hunt more types of prey than any other big cat species. With its expert hunting skills, they can successfully hunt small animals such as insects, rodents, and fish to animal larger than them like a gazelle or zebra. But with solitary predators, hunting trips require more energy. And the worst thing that could happen is getting hurt. So what happens when leopards get injured whilst hunting? How does it continue to survive in the harsh wilderness? This video will help you find out the answer. On this step a leopard is targeting a young wildebeest. Very quickly it rushed to grab the baby wildebeest from behind, but in its haste it was discovered by the mother wildebeest and counter-attacked. The mother wildebeest used her horns to attack the leopard's belly, causing it to painfully release the young wildebeest and run away. The predator has failed. Looks like hunting wildebeest is too much for leopards. Known to be insidious predators, hunger has made the leopards impatient. Instead of hunting small prey, the leopard has decided to hunt a buffalo. An adult buffalo can easily kill a leopard if it tries to attack. Therefore, leopards aren't quite afraid when approaching buffalo. Immature buffalo are the prey leopards aim for it tries to take advantage of the mother's inattention to find opportunities to attack the young. A male leopard is resting close to the lake after some time he decides to move around looking for prey. Moments later he found the ideal opportunity to seize his lunch. While Buffalo and a newborn calf walked down to the lake bank, the leopard spotted the chance from a distance and start stalking the prey. Once it was close enough for a surprise chase, it gave a lot of effort to bring down the calf. Inexperienced, the leopard tries to capture the car from the far heat instead of the throat. Then the mother Buffalo had opportunity to rescue its calf. Usually leopards rarely fight directly with lions and hyenas because it is not in their favor. When a leopard is injured it is more difficult for it to get to safety and escape these two animals. With a painful and exhausted body, the leopard was injured and lost in the lion's territory. This stupidity has cost him dearly. As soon as they discover the stranger, the lions continuously attacked and toyed with the lion Paul Leopard.
But fortunately, when the leopard became weak and did not resist, the lions gave up and left. The worst thing for a leopard to encounter is a hyena in a weak state. The injured leopard fell and was unlucky when a pack of hyenas crossed its path. The hyenas did not waste this opportunity and rushed to attack. Although it escaped death it seems to be exhausted. Death is very near. When the leopard is injured, its hunting is affected. That leads to prolonged hunger, forcing it to do riskier hunts. However, both hungry and tired, it cannot hunt prey, such as antelope or warthog. The appearance of a porcupine made the leopard reckless despite the danger. The leopard tried to attack the porcupine, but the porcupine's quills hurt the leopard every time he tried to attack. After a painful time, he manages to kill the prey and there was a meal to save hunger. But it was difficult to eat this meal. The leopard painfully tore pieces of the porcupine meat off. Choosing between starvation and dangerous prey, the leopard still chooses to fill its stomach. However, it later died from being severely injured by porcupine quills. The predator's tragic end is just one of those countless sad stories that happens every day on the African savanna. Death is always a part of life no matter how strong you are. Despite being an adept predator, Leopards are solitary animals. When they are injured, there will be no one to help or feed it. What do you think about such cruel wildlife? Leave your thoughts below in the comments section. I hope the above information is useful to you. If you're a wildlife lover, subscribe to the channel to get more videos. See you again.